um, we're looking to introduce a show in May so that we can encourage newcomers into the sport as well as um, give them the opportunity or I guess the more veteran athletes um, some incentive to kind of stay in shape year on. Now for years um, it's only been one event for Bermuda Bodybuilding and that that sort of event leads you to pick the team for the Caribbean Championships and so forth. Is this just another way to drum up interest in the sport itself and to give those that are highly involved another opportunity to perform in front of a large crowd? Well, our August event is basically what we deemed our Night of Champions, which is the national uh, event that, yes, in the past we've always used to make the selection to go to the Central American and Caribbean Championships. This May show, as a, um, typically, like I said, it's, it's to, to try and get new interest. Um, novice athletes, people that um, kind of, you know, view the sport, they have an interest in the sport, they not necessarily, um, you know, want to be bodybuilders per se, but more as a, the physique for the men and um, figure for women. And again, on a smaller stage because we're looking to have it at um, City Hall, so it's a smaller stage and, a, uh, you know, it holds less people in terms of audience. So it, it kind of ends up being an uh, introductory type show for a novice athlete. What are some of the challenges facing the Bermuda Bodybuilding Federation as far as getting people to participate? Um, I think the challenge is basically overcoming that initial uh, fear, if I, I could call it that, or maybe just um, having the encouragement either from fans or fam family or a trainer specifically to actually get people to, to stand on stage. Because a lot of people are working out, they have fitness, um, as part of their lifestyle and then the other challenge and that's where the, the real discipline comes in is terms of the dieting for competition because you really have to be disciplined to, to get your body to the competition um, level. Now all the gyms involved in trying to encourage their people that uh, attend their gyms to get involved? Um, I think it more comes from individual personalities rather than generally speaking gyms and a lot of the times it's it's I guess individuals in terms of the competitors themselves but trainers uh, kind of encourage the, um, athletes as well uh, we try from the federation perspective uh, because our committee is made of of uh, people that fill the post of gym reps so it's it's the intent of the federation to try and get the interest and get people to, to come. Well, Ms. Fogo, are there anything, are there any new categories going to be put together by the Bermuda Bodybuilding Federation for this uh, extra event? Yes, the event that we're going to host in May, May 4th at City Hall, we're going to introduce kids fitness and two age groups, 9 to 12 year olds as, and then a youth fitness group which will be 13 to 15 year olds. And the idea is to basically introduce the uh, young people to fitness, and so that and we've been had a lot of success in in our women's fitness program because we have um, quite a few people that have turned pro um, through fitness, and so we're introducing uh, kids and youth fitness to kind of um, increase our numbers in this area. Now, is this the first time this has happened in Bermuda, where you have a uh, kids' division introduced? It's it's the first time in Bermuda, but they are doing it in other jurisdictions. So it's just a matter of us, um, you know, coming on board. And it's it's just the fitness. The the uh, kids or the youth will not be compa made comparisons. So we're not comparing um, the physiques. We're just looking at the strictly the routines.